in IB Spent first you have to create a new project uh, which will be in the 3x4 format and then what we will do we will import our image or import our character that we have over here we have cutouts of Maki so I have imported that if you have another character you can also add that then again we will go and we will import the cloud or oh, this is available on my discord I have uploaded these in the materials format make sure you go and download these from there and after adjusting uh, both the character and the cloud uh, you have to just export it but make sure that you are satisfied by your image that you are showing uh, that you are being shown on the screen then just save it in the png format now we will delete the main character again import the next the next character image over here just like this then adjust it then save it in the png format now do the same for the rest of the image on how much uh, character you want in this format so for this edit i have to create like four of these images this one is the third one and after saving the third one uh, the last one is this one now these were made by me the color correction is also given by me but if you want to like learn how we can make these images i will make a tutorial for that but after that we will move into the cap cut as you can see uh, we have a background this is also available on my discord then we have the audio and also we have the beats now uh, these audio or this part of this is the part of the main edit where you want to add these type of effects or these type of things so for that we will import our images as you can see i am importing all four of my images over here and after adding all of this uh, we will just adjust the duration of every single overlay that we have over here then we will what we will do we will split on the first beat as you can see over here now we will go to the next beat and we will split the other overlay then again uh, make sure it's on the beat then uh, we will split the last one this one overlay which will obviously come in the last so after splitting every part we will uh, adjust it by our thumb like i want these to be over here so when we are just adding the keyframes we don't get confused so for the first one uh, what we have to do we have to shrink the image and drag it downside then we will add a keyframe over here after this go to the beat first beat where you want it to be add a keyframe drag it upside and make sure it's in the center and if you want to increase the scale you can also increase the scale and if you want to like edit this into going to the basic and adjusting it you can also do that but i will prefer that you do these things by your thumb then I have also adjusted the second image and added a keyframe over here. Then uh, we will go to the next beat and over here. Uh, what we will do, we will first adjust our the top overlay. As you can see over here, I am dragging it to the left side. Also, I have uh, adjusted the second image that we have. Then I have also adjusted the third image that is being shown on the screen. And all of these are uh, like part where each image should be coming make sure you don't uh, like what we can say misunderstood or do something different but it should look something like this i thought that the process was a little bit difficult so i was trying to just do my best to explain everything but uh, you just have to like add keyframes on every single beat on every single overlay okay on each beat you have to add keyframe and also the keyframe should be on every single overlay the reason behind this is the moment will be like accurate and smoother and like it will not look like that some character is stopping and someone is moving and like having some misalignment or miss what we can say misarrangement of movements so for that reason uh, we are doing uh, this on the same beats we are adding keyframes and moving our characters now i have made a lot of uh, these type of tutorials if you cannot understand this one you can go and watch other one maybe you might get idea what we are doing over here but after like adjusting every single character uh, make sure they are like in the center format okay na? like they should not be way more far apart from each other but they should be in the center then we will add graph for this one i'm not using a fast graph i'm using a better more smooth graph which is ease out too 
so make sure you add ease out two graph in between of each keyframe and after adding this it should look something like this i think it's pretty good and after then we will add another overlay or the image this one this target image this is available on my discord i have provided the link in the description go and join my discord then what we will do uh, we have to shrink this and adjust it like this on the first beat you have to add it on the face of the first character and add a keyframe now at the starting what we will do now in the starting uh, we just uh, we will go to the basic and we will go and change the y-axis so it should go on the top of that out of the screen so we can get up to downward movement like this then go to the next beat and at the next beat the target should be on the the face of the next character on this one then uh, we will go on to the next beat like this and we will set the target on the target overlay on the next character the third one and we'll at the ending we will set the target location at the ending position of the last character like this it should be on the face now uh, after adding this we will add the rotation for the rotation go to the first beat go to the basic go to rotation and set the rotation up to minus 180 now after setting the rotation up to minus 180 we will leave one beat okay the reason behind uh, i didn't adjust the rotation again and again because we have to like do it on each and every beat but after leaving one beat you can just adjust it to 180 it will automatically give a return rotation on the next one now after this we will add is our two graph over here for the movement of the target which will be way more smoother but if you want to use is out one you can also use that one but i will uh, recommend that you should use uh, is out two over here and after adjusting if you are satisfied you can just export this overlay now this will work as like a preset video for you and you can use this in like any kind of audio you want or the main edit you want like it's like a clip uh, where you can like add everything or change everything then we have imported the same play that we have exported and the ratio i'm using here is three by four and then we just increase the scale like this and i want it to be like this over here then i have added a keyframe we'll go to the next beat uh, and at the next beat i want my character to be in the complete center over here like this now uh, go to the next beat and at the next beat uh, i want my next character to be in the center then again into the next beat and at the next beat i want this character to be in the center and again at the last beat uh, i want my this character to be in the center now uh, one more thing i want to tell you that i have shrink the scale by my thumb according to my need as you can see then uh, we will add graph over here we will use ease out to graph but i think it needs a little bit more adjustment now it's looking good then we will add is our two graph and it's looking pretty good and i think i'm satisfied by this but still if you want to add some cc the color correction over here you can also add this like uh, i'm adding the contrast we don't need any kind of saturation over here but if you want to reduce the brightness you can reduce this the sharpness is depending on you i'm not adding any kind of sharpness over here then we'll go to the graph we'll set the white graph like this it will give a good darker effect also add some highlights and shadows and at the ending we will add vignette which will be 15 now as you can see we have added the cc properly over here which just increase the what we can say the look and the interaction and of the edit and if you're satisfied by this you can just export your video and i hope you all guys have learned how we can make this uh type of edit or this type of target moving or focusing on each character whatever you call it then uh, we will meet in the next video and peace out